Hi, my name is Anubhav Swami and I'm Security Solutions Architect at Cisco Systems. In the previous video, I gave you introduction to Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native. In this video, I will talk about various use cases that you can handle with Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native. One of the biggest use cases for accessing resources in public cloud security is our VPN use case, and most of our customers are looking for a scalable uh, infrastructure that can scale up as and when required, and when uh, resources are not required, it should scale down. So we have a Cisco uh, Secure Firewall Cloud Native Architecture with Amazon Route 53 uh, that can load balance traffic based on Route 53 weighted average load balancing. We have taken this architecture one step further and added a redirector concept that is coupled with Amazon Elastic Cache for Redis database. In this architecture, you can load balance traffic based on least number of sessions connected to a CNFW. Uh, you can consider this as an advanced level of RA VPN session load balancing in the cloud. The other use case is for uh, SFCNS data center backhaul, uh, multi-tenancy, scalable cloud hub, and scalable edge firewall. Let's look at our first use case, which is scalable architecture for REVPN with Route 53. In this architecture, you, you can see that I have multiple enforcement point um, managed by uh, EKS cluster. And in addition to that, I have Route 53. And on that Route 53, I have vpn.mydomain.com as my hosted zone. Now, user on the internet will send out request or a DNS query for vpn.mydomain.com and in response to that query, uh, user will get reply for public IP associated to uh, CNF. Now, why public IP address of a CNF? Because all the CNFs are automatically added into uh, Route 53 as in a DNS view wicket. So whenever uh, we auto instantiate uh, enforcement point, we add that into the route into route 53. So once user has information about uh, public IP address or elastic IP address of the CNF, we connect that user directly to that particular CNF, and each enforcement point have will have a dedicated VPN pool. The complete architecture is automatic. Automated, uh, so your architecture will provide automation for newly instantiated device. The moment we add newly new CNFW in the architecture or in your environment, we add that information in Route 53. We add routes for the new CNF in the AWS route automatically by using the automation that comes along with. Uh, secure firewall cloud native. Now let's look at the redirector architecture where uh, we load balance based on VPN sessions rather than using uh, using weighted average load balancing. So in this uh, flow, user will send a query for vpn.mydomain.com and in response to that VPN query, uh, we provide that user with IP address of a redirector. Now, redirector has information about all the enforcement points and it also talks to uh, Elastic Cache. Now, in the Elastic Cache, whenever a new VPN session is, uh, is added to an uh, enforcement point, we replicate that information in the Elastic Cache. So, Elastic Cache has information about all the CNF um, CNFWs and it has information about how many users VPN sessions are being handled by each CNF. So in response uh, to the query from uh, from the user, redirector will then consult uh, Elastic Cache and provide FQDN of the CNFW that has the least number of VPN connections. Then user will then again resolve 
the REST QDN using ROC 53 and that is the phase where we provide the IP address of CNFW and user makes connection back to the CNFW. Now again the automation part is done automatically by the CNFW uh, architecture. Uh, the moment we add a new CNFW that information is added in the redirector uh, and um, Re Redis database will be added in the architecture automatically and Redis database will keep information about VPN sessions and load balancing in this architecture is done uh, done based on VPN sessions rather than uh, rather than weighted average the other use, use case is if you have multiple enforcement points on your network how can you create tunnels back to your data center so in in this example if you are if you are user a you connected to uh, enforcement point a your enforcement point will form tunnel back to uh, your data center provided you you will enable that uh, data center backhaul configuration the moment you instantiate a new cnfw we make connection back to your data center again so that that uh, addition of the site to site tunnel is automatically done by by this solution so uh, so each device will have a dedicated pool and you will re redistribute that pool into your uh, your data center firewall that is how the entire return traffic will work now, other important use case is multi-tenancy. We have seen a lot of customers asking for this particular feature. So in this example, what I'm showing here is we have a cluster, a SFCN cluster. In that SFCN cluster, I have two tenants, tenant A and tenant B. Uh, we do this using namespaces, but there are other things in the background that will happen like uh, uh, the security groups, your route tables, and that will segregate your traffic between tenant A and tenant B. Now, in this example, what I'm trying to show here is a single cluster can host multiple tenants, and then you can create a backhaul going back to uh, those customers. The other use case is if you want to offload your VPN uh, infrastructure from your data center to to AWS cloud you can do that with uh, C, C, uh, Cisco secure firewall cloud native by deploying uh, a cluster in the cloud and then once you connect it to your cloud environment uh, you can then uh, take your connection back to your data center either by uh, using a transit gateway CSR IPsec tunnel there are multiple methods of connecting your cloud environment back to your data center you can also uh, connect with other VPCs where you might have your uh, application servers. Uh, the entire architecture is scalable. So when there is a need, uh, we auto scale this architecture and we shrink it down when, when things are uh, not in use. Uh, you can also connect your scalable cloud to other cloud environments as well using IPsec tunnel. So in this example, what I'm showing you here is a scalable hub in the cloud that can scale based on custom matrix. And then you connect your, uh, your cloud environment back to data center, to other VPCs or to other cloud providers as well. Now, other important thing that I want to highlight is uh, due to compliance, as we have seen customers asking for stateful firewalls at the edge, so this, this uh, infrastructure can provide you a scalable architecture that will help you in uh, deploying an architecture that can auto-scale, auto-heal. You can use it for access control policy. You can use it for NAT, load balancing, and uh, the complete automation is done by Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native Infrastructure. With this, I have reached end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.